welcome back to my channel this is shades of madi <coughs> merry christmas and happy new year in advance so today we'll be designing something different this is a beauty beauty spa salon yeah you can put it put it either way it's still a beauty salon so let's get right to it first of all please check my page you can also please help me subscribe so i can keep giving you guys videos back to back because this your follows and likes is what gives me the encouragement to create more videos like this and i'll also drop psd files free psd files for you to use so let me start by create by creating a new page you can on your keyboard press ctrl n for new sorry ctrl n for new sorry taking a while to load new so i use 108 by 1350 as my page size click on create so what i did first was to bring in my lady image let me so i'll explain how i got this image this is a png file i got a while ago as you can see it's very simple and straightforward you know all my designs as you always know and you've seen they are all simple and straightforward so i worked extensively on this image to get this result as you can see i use what we call camera raw and topaz adjustment now for this topaz adjustment you, you, you would have to get this topaz lab on youtube you can search topaz lab adjustment on youtube so it will give you the video and now you can install it and now you can install the plugin and now you can use it. it's very simple and straightforward just search, search on youtube for topaz lab download you, you will get so many results or very soon I'll, I'll create a video on it and i'll drop the the file also on, on how you can use it so let me show you how this image was before i used all this let me switch this off you can see it's looking kind of dull so what i did here was to use this topaz lab sorry let me switch this off let me switch this off for you you can see so if i come to my filter here you can see this is topaz lab you can see i use topaz adjustment for and for all my videos i usually use scripts um, crisps rather crisps you can see it's it gave it live already it's very simple straightforward so let me control z Z, Z, yeah. Now you will come to your camera roll effect. My camera roll, my camera roll here. So I take a while to load. You can see these are settings. But let me show you on how you can. Let me show you how you can get your camera roll. You come to your filter, camera roll effect, or press Control Shift A on your keyboard for camera roll effect. So it will automatically pop up on your screen. So let me sh show you what uh, settings I use for this particular image. You can see it's very sharp and you know it's well detailed. So I use a simple um okay, let me show you details. Yeah, I use details. Noise reduction. You know, if if, if I do this, you can see it's looking too sorry, it's looking too sharp and looking too kind of you know. Kind of noise so i i had to reduce the noise like this so make it look kind of blurry kind of sharp but it's looking sharp and okay so i don't need to use any other thing to get this so let, let's leave it this way so it won't look too you know too shabby or something so what i did next you know was to bring in my flower you can see let me let me ignore this and bring you the flower so she show you how it's done sorry I'm trying to get the flower let me switch off switch off all these layers first yes this is my flower now as you can see this flower now what i did here was just to bring in my flower as a png file then come to my filter blur gaussian blur so you can see i use the videos 4.5 you can see a filter blur Ocean blue, very splashy forward. So I duplicated my image. 
just to this you know and created this now for this for this here i use the font i use the font i'll never rather personal use i'll never rather personal use for the font here for the lily and for the beauty i think i used montserrat bold here yeah, i'm right now for the gradient i used style linear i used location zero i used zero zero that is black and for location 100 i used of 9 9b of also very simple and straightforward so now for this shape right here you can see these are images i got online so i i had to work on them using the camera raw effect and the and uh, and the topaz lab adjustment layer also so you can see this one topaz lab to pass everything here is topaz lab then how i got this shape because this is a shape you can see this is a shape let me show you fx for this shape you can see i used for the stroke i used size eight outside color white and for the drop shadow i used two drop shadow the opacity at 42 color black distance 11 spread 6 size 5 i used another drop shadow you know, almost the same thing just to make it reverse kind of so it's very simple and straightforward so i duplicated the shapes you know and created a clip mask of these images on the so let me release the mask can see you can see it's like this you can see this is a shape so i i bought this image and i did create clipping mask straightforward you can see you now adjust like adjust accordingly to your preference very simple and straightforward so i now applied this gradient to you can see this here copy layer style so i created this shape also and i pasted the layer style very simple and straightforward so this you know this is how i got this now for this final part you can see flares as usual you can see in all my videos i drop flares i i use flares just to make the video a little bit sharp so that's how i got this i'm dropping the, the psd file in the link below please do well to download and also check the check the video also the password thank you